So starting in 2012, we engaged in a project to develop a scanner that would be higher resolution so that we could see any lesion, no matter how small, where we could see every part of a patient without made up and interpolated data so we could scan soft tissue and hard tissue simultaneously and make it so that a practitioner could see inside of their patient in a way that equalized medicine. So it didn't require extraordinary skills or training, but rather everybody could see and understand how this applied to the anatomy they learned in school, to the pathology they learned about in school, and make diagnosis much more quickly and efficiently and effectively and accurately. Doing this allowed a new world of imaging in which we could give greater value to patients and clients while making veterinary practices more efficient and more profitable. The Vimigo GT30 is capable of high definition volumetric imaging, which is the most advanced type of CT. It also can do full featured fluoroscopy, capable of doing even the most advanced interventional and diagnostic procedures. And it's a fully functional x-ray system at the same time. With these capabilities, you can simply bounce with a button push from one to the other to the other, using them simultaneously so that we can diagnose and plan in three dimensions and then perform a procedure with fluoroscopy guiding ourselves all the way through. What the Vimigo GT30 actually does in the CT technology is we obtain a three-dimensional map of data with resolution as fine as a human hair in thickness, down to 100 microns in thickness. It's the highest resolution clinical scanner in the world, and it's not just designed for small body parts. It can scan any body part. We can scan a 200-pound patient with perfect contrast resolution, even in the thorax and abdomen. We can scan a mouse to a mastiff with no problem with this machine of all body parts. The fluoroscopy modality on the Vimigo allows incredible power for interventional procedures with digital subtraction angiography, road mapping, burst mode up to 30 frames per second, auto brightness control, auto collimation, tip tracking. It has all the features of the most advanced interventional systems on the market today. The capabilities of the Vimigo far exceed capabilities to diagnose on a CT or an MRI or an ultrasound or on x-ray. What ends up happening is Vimigo becomes your primary diagnostic utility. And when you start with the three-dimensional imaging of, from high definition volumetric imaging, you can diagnose more, more quickly, more consistently, and give vastly better value to your patients and clients. The Vimigo GT30 can scan any region of the anatomy for lesions, whether that is from trauma, oncology, a vascular problem, Anything that you may need to diagnose within your patient, we can see with the Vimigo GT30. Our users have found that if they already had an MRI and a CT running next to each other, with the Vimigo installed, they get much less use out of the MRI. They found that ultrasound exams start to get displaced because of the simplicity and consistency and repeatability of the exams that you can get with the Vimigo and the results that we can get. Once you've acquired the data on the Vimigo, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the data size, to produce your final data set. Once you have that final data set, it can be viewed both on the Vimigo itself or sent to your PACS and viewed again on any DICOM reader that will allow you to view uh, DICOM images. Um, especially for CT. We always want that viewer to be able to do multiplanar reconstruction and 3D to get full utility of the Vimigo images. You can stand there right with the client and walk through and spin this image around on the machine just using the touch of your hand and it wows them every time while at the same time getting you extraordinary diagnostic information that was never before possible. 
further option on those voxel view workstations is to add a feature called Vimersion. And Vimersion takes the power of our high definition volumetric imaging data sets and it takes it to a new realm. While looking at a case in voxel view, with the simple touch of a button, you can launch it into Vimersion. You pop on a pair of virtual reality goggles and you're in an immersive reality world with the data set sitting in front of you. With two hand controllers, you have absolute freedom to make the data set larger or smaller to bring it closer or further away. You can even walk inside, walking down the trachea into the lungs, walking through the intestines if you'd like. You can use a slicing tool to spin with one hand and cut through it the other with perfect freedom as to which direction and angle you're cutting. We can change the color, the contrast, the opacity to match any part of the data set that you want to see. And this allows an entirely new way to explore the data within a patient. So whether you're trying to make your diagnosis, to plan a surgery, to show a client in a really incredible and unbelievable way, or to train, uh, we can actually use the, the immersion system to have a second person also with a headset on to be viewing the same data set in the same room even if they're 3,000 miles away. Dentistry is an obvious application for Vimigo, and in general practices in particular, it could be used on every dental that comes in the facility where you can get incredible results in a matter of 18 seconds. You could see things that you could never see on digital dental radiography, and at the same time, you'd be getting data on sinus, nasal, bulla, and find things in maybe 12% of your cases that otherwise wouldn't be found. It increases the value that your customers get off of it while shortening the time it takes the procedure. Additionally, the Vimigo can be used for any diagnostic imaging procedure that really comes into your facility, and it should be your first run. So whether you're looking at a case that came in because of trauma, whether you're worried about oncological processes or metastasis, if you're worried about vascular issues, which could be cardiac or potentially a shunt, all of these issues could be found. It could be a GI issue. Uh, you might be looking for ectopic ureters. You might be looking for renal health. It might be uh, a back problem for the dog, a herniated disc we can find very easily, uh, neurological issues. There's a vast array of imaging applications that the Vimigo can handle. When we start using the fluoroscopy in the Vimigo, you can answer questions such as collapsing trachea, uh, laryngeal paralysis. We can follow through and actually watch live as contrast goes through the, the vascular system. We can see cardiac anomalies. We can see breathing problems. It's very useful, for instance, to do fluoroscopy on a coughing patient because you can see exactly why they're coughing. And we can watch the contrast flow all the way through all the vasculature, you can see it in the vasculature that goes into the intestines and straight out through the kidneys and out through the bladder. So no matter what part of your patient you need to see, no matter what kind of pathology you're looking for, odds are the Vimigo is going to get you the answer. The Vimigo allows you to add a wealth of new capabilities to your practice. You'll be able to handle oncological problems, vascular problems, cardiac problems, neurological problems, orthopedic problems, all in a way that was never possible for you before. In addition, you can get into interventional procedures, some much more complicated than others, but some very simple, like putting in a tracheal stent or following your scope as you go inside your patient, knowing where it is at any given time, matching that up with where you had seen the diagnostic information on the CT in the first place. When a conventional CT scans a patient, it does a helical path around and is collecting data sampling from throughout the patient. When it's done, it creates small slices, linear slices, with gaps in between. 
Those gaps typically range from three to 10 millimeters, but might be as fine as one millimeter. Now it is possible to use a very small pitch, which takes much longer and uses a lot more radiation for the machine to get tighter imaging. And some machines can get as high as maybe 600 microns in resolution. When you do that though, you're using vastly more radiation and there is still interpolation created in that machine because the purpose of the scan is to create axial slices first. Now it is possible also on high-end machines from conventional CT to export sagittal and coronal data sets, which are orthogonal to your first axial view. However, those are not independent data sets from original data. They're created by interpolating the gaps between the slices of the axial frame. So what you're left with is three independent data sets that you can look at simultaneously and pretend you have a three-dimensional data set, but you don't. You have an axial data set with slices in it and some pretend data sets that are sagittal and coronal. And if you go off axis, you're going to lose resolution. And some of the resolution that you're provided is computer manufactured and it's not real imaging data anyway. This can lead to false negatives. And now the history of understanding what we can see with CT has limited our perception of what CT is useful for. When we image with the Vimigo, we don't have any of these problems. We can scan at higher resolutions with no interpolated data and excellent contrast resolution so that at a vastly higher resolution with real true data isotropically, so it's the same resolution in any plane, we can get information that's never been possible before. This means that within your data set, you can rotate, you can turn, you can look at any angle, any orientation, any thickness through your patient, eliminating obstructions, but seeing exactly what it is that you need every time. And that's what makes it a revolutionary diagnostic tool because you can view inside your patient anything that you may want to see, and you can do it in a matter of minutes. Cone beam CT is used primarily in dentistry, and that's because it's good for seeing hard tissue, but not soft tissue. Cone beam is not diagnostic for soft tissue. Now, the Vimigo uses a flat panel detector, just like a cone beam CT, but then there's about 82 patents, uh, both pending and granted, that separate the Vimigo from all other CT technologies, including cone beam. The differences are, that the Vimigo is capable of exquisite soft tissue contrast, of seeing in any part of the anatomy, imaging even the largest patients in big fleshy areas where you could never do that with a cone beam. Additionally, cone beam CTs suffer from scatter problems and spatial distortion problems on the outside of the image that prevents us from being able to get large data sets in cone beam CT. The Vimigo has none of that problem. Because of that, the spatial resolution is perfect for the Vimigo, and we can scan the entire length of a patient, over a meter in length, in one single exam. Um, the measurements can be as precise as you want them to be, down to a tenth of a millimeter, or 100 microns. And with that, it allows an enormous amount of new procedures that weren't possible before, from guided surgeries, to radiation treatment planning, you can always rely on the data from the Vimigo to be accurate. The Vimigo is a highly mobile system. It can be moved to any part of a practice and it can be moved through a 36 inch door. The Vimigo is practical because it's small and compact and mobile. It has details built within it to be ergonomic and flexible for use in a veterinary facility with every detail that you need in it. It only requires maybe an eight by 10 room at the smallest, and it can fit through a 36 inch door very easily. The Vimigo doesn't require large build outs, doesn't require extra HVAC systems, it doesn't require a lot of overhead for electricity, it just uses 220, 20 amp single phase electricity like a clothes dryer, and it requires minimal shielding upgrades. The Vimigo has a 60 centimeter bore to the gantry. That means that you can fit even the largest patient. The original Vimigo was designed around my American Mastiff who weighed 185 pounds. 
It, so you can fit any dog that's going to come into your practice from bow to stern. The imaging in the Vimigo takes place outside of the bore, in front of the bore, so that the clinician has access to every part of the patient that's being imaged at the time. This is incredibly important, not just for fitting and being able to see where the anatomy is, but for interventional procedures and some diagnostic procedures with fluoroscopy. You have access to the parts of the patient that are being imaged very simply, sort of the way you would with a C-arm, but with the power of CT behind it. The gantry of the Vimigo GT30 slides over the length of the patient without any need for the patient to move. The Vimigo Pico GT30 has a table that is separate that connects, that can index through the gantry. So regardless of your facility needs or your overall application, we can image any part of any sized patient with the Vimigo models. Shielding requirements are minimal. It depends on your jurisdiction, but generally they're approximately the same as having an x-ray in your office. From our measurements required by the FDA, we do know that if you're more than two meters away from the machine, you're only exposed to background radiation. Your technicians can easily protect themselves with standard radiological gear, such as uh, lead aprons or rolling lead shields. So it's very easy for your technicians to be around the patients during the scan and they don't have to be in a separate locked off room. That also makes it much less expensive for facility requirements to get a Vimigo set up. You need to spend less money on shielding. You don't need to spend any extra money on HVAC systems or extra electricity and the ancillary costs are absolutely minimized. The Vimigo allows you to see lesions in anatomy within your patients as you've never seen before. It allows you a level of diagnostic confidence that before was unattainable. This is incredibly important in your practice because that's where the value of, to your clients comes from. Your clients require that you give them clear answers as to what's going on with their pet. And additionally, they want to understand those answers. There's no better way to explain what's going on with the patient than to be able to show the client exactly what's wrong. And that's obviously much easier to do when you clearly understand what's going on, which the Vimigo allows you by showing it to you clearly. We've been able to develop a vast array of new uses to diagnose in ways that were just never possible before. The Vimigo in this way can add such capability to your practice and put you at the front end of, veter of veterinary medicine now and in the years to come. All of the innovation, engineering, design, and ISO certified manufacturing of the Vimigo is done in-house by our own team of engineers. This has led us to 82 patents that are either issued or pending, and a level of quality that we just couldn't get from using outside sources. All of the software and hardware comes from in-house. Additionally, we spend every year approximately 20% of our revenue reinvesting into this development process. The technology that's in the new Vimigo GT30 is the same technology that exists in our new human platform, the C-Factor CT3, which is now FDA cleared. Your Vimigo is covered bumper to bumper by your Epicare service package. That includes 24 seven phone support. It includes online monitoring and support. It includes software updates and, of course, coverage of all site service warranty issues. We have a wide variety of financing and lease programs that can make the Vimigo an easy implementation into your practice. Used properly, your Vimigo will generate an incredible return on investment. We have a wealth of experience at guiding practices through the best methods for each practice to attain this result. Your solution specialist will be happy to sit with you and go through a detailed return on investment analysis to look at your individual usage and charges that you would be able to apply to make this a reality for your practice. Understanding that any technology as disruptive and revolutionary as a Vimigo is a big step. 
we have an enormous list of references you may speak to, and we also present regular webinars to give you true insight into the daily use of the Vimigo, its applications, and to see real life cases that are diagnosed on it every day. We're very happy to have been able to show you the Vimigo technology and its capabilities. Nearly 300 practices have joined the Epica family in the last seven years, and we look forward to welcoming you.